Hi there guys, Justin here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be going over some PC games you could play whilst waiting in anticipation for the exciting releases slated for 2023. Now, I did a video last week on the releases in 2023 I was looking forward to, and I'll link that at the end of this video. Now, this video could serve as your refresh guide to get you up to speed at that Let's get to that list. Uh, the first game on our list is Resident Evil 2 Remake. If you're looking forward to Resident Evil 4, this is your baby right here. It's dark, it's gritty, it even has, uh, it has Claire as well as Leon as your protagonist. So if you're looking forward to Resident Evil 4, there's no better game to play than Resident Evil 2. For that matter, you could probably also play Resident Evil 3. I mean, it's going to get you into the zone. It's going to get you up to speed. And it's the right, it sets the right type of tone if you're looking forward to play that game. I myself only really got into these games probably October, November, towards the end of last year. And I must say, I absolutely adore Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. So that's number one. Right, the next game on our list would be Resident Evil 3 Remake and this would be if you're looking forward to the remake of Dead Space coming out of at the end of January. So I know that there is a Dead Space from 2010 or 2011, I can't quite remember, but the game is showing signs of aging. So this is a lot more current, this two years old looks good, but not as good as Jill Valentine. Let's just face it, she's a smoke show. So guys, it's got a similar tone to Dead Space. I think Dead Space is going to be a little bit darker, a little bit creepy, and a little bit more gory. But as you're going to see now, um, this does have quite a bit of gore. It's got a big mutation blob, alien monstrosity in it. So I think it is a little bit similar. But yeah, guys, if you're looking forward to Dead Space, I'd recommend you play Resident Evil 3 Remake. And one more time. Joe Valentine, I love you. Next on the list would be Uncharted The Thieves Collection. Uh, this is if you're looking forward to The Last of Us. So I know tonally that the games are quite different, but I think in terms of art direction as well as just art, like the way the game looks and feels and the way Nathan moves is going to be very similar to Joel. And let's just be honest. Replaying Uncharted, it's definitely not a difficult game to replay. Um, it's also got that, like, like the yeah, we at Libertalia. It's, it's similar to like the city that's run down. Yeah, so if you're looking forward to The Last of Us, I reckon play Uncharted 4. Next game to play would be Star Wars Fallen Order. And I think it goes without saying, if you're looking forward to playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor, a great thing would be to just recap and retouch on Star Wars Fallen Order. So I actually never finished this game. Um, I was just too busy with other things and I got kind of lost. So I'm going to be downloading this within the next month again and just trying my hand at being a Star Wars Jedi because whereas I wasn't a massive big fan of this game, like I said, I didn't finish it. However, Star Wars Jedi Survivor looks amazing. So I can't wait to play that one. So to get me in the vibe, I'm going to be playing Star Wars Fallen Order. Right, guys, the next game on our list would be Batman Arkham Knight. And this I would play if you're looking forward to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So I know tonally Arkham Knight is a lot darker, whereas a Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has got a much lighter tone, but it is after all uh, the latest Rocksteady game that we can go on when trying to prejudge and get into the mood for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So yet another game that I actually never finished, I loved Arkham Asylum. I loved Arkham City and I don't know, I just never really got into Arkham Knight. I'm actually busy downloading it tonight and I'm gonna 
I don't care. I'm going to start and finish this game. So many people love it. And I want to be one of those people. So guys, if you're looking forward to Suicide Squad, Kill This Justice League, highly recommend you play Batman Arkham Knights. Next game on the list would be Horizon Zero Dawn. And this is if you're looking forward to Forspoken coming out on the 24th of January. So I know for Spoken, uh, the focus is going to be on you casting magic spells and it's very colorful and you've got magic flying all over the place. But I don't know why Horizon Zero Dawn or for Spoken makes me think of Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I do think that on the whole, Horizon Zero Dawn is probably a better game than for Spoken will be. I think for Spoken could be a little bit thin on the, on the story and gameplay side. However, Horizon Zero Dawn on the other hand is such an awesome game. It's drop dead gorgeous. Aloy is a rather silent but an awesome protagonist. And the gameplay loop on Horizon Zero Dawn is fantastic. You really will enjoy this one. Um, so yeah guys, if you're looking forward to Forspoken, recommend you play Horizon Zero Dawn. And lastly guys, the last game on the list would be Days Gone, and this is in particular if you're looking forward to the day before. So the day before, there's an argument for either the Division or the Division 2, but I'd actually recommend Days Gone if you're looking forward to that game. Days Gone has got a similar, like, apocalyptic, uh, the world come to, a, like, almost the end. Uh, civilization has changed completely. It's got the same look and feel to it, I think. From the, the little bits of gameplay that we've seen, it just reminded me so much of Days Gone. Although I must say, um, the day before, you know, as I'm sure you've seen, many people are very skeptical of that game. What I'm not skeptical of though, is Days Gone. It's such a blast. Like, uh, like you're gonna see now, the zombies gonna be attacking me, or the freakers are gonna be attacking me. It's damn thrilling. So guys, if you're looking forward to the day before, definitely recommend playing Days Gone. And that's the list. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel this yet, come on guys, I'm looking to get monetized. I still need a couple of subscribers. Smash that subscribe button. Other than that, guys, have a fantastic day. It's people like you. Cheers.